Welcome to another video, Tina here. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can customize opportunity cards in the board view. With this feature, users can fully customize what kind of data they want to see on the little cards. This allows you as a user to tailor the card view to just show the most important data to you. Let me show you how you can set this up. All right, first you want to click on opportunities on the left and then select any of your opportunities by clicking the drop down menu right here. If you haven't created a pipeline yet, just click on the plus add opportunity top right corner and you'll be able to set this up. Now, here we have the sample opportunity pipeline with a cold stage, a warm stage and a hot stage. So let's say any of our automation has been triggered. This person came into our pipeline and she sits there now. Now, what is important for you as the business owner to see what kind of information, what kind of data you can see right here, the opportunity source, where she came from. You can see the opportunity value. How much is the product worth that she is potentially interested in purchasing? You can obviously figure this out through the source where she came from. Then down here, if you hover over these little icons, you can see if you click on view conversations, it will forward you to the conversations. If you hover over this little tag icon, it shows you, hey, she's been labeled with the active tag. The next icon shows you notes. The note will also show up. So the actual note is she called me yesterday. This is a task. The task here says, hey, you need to call her. And under appointments, there is no little number. You can see the little ones in these icons here. That doesn't show up in the appointments because she hasn't booked an appointment. Now, if you click on manage fields on the right here, then in this window will pop up and it gives you two options to choose from the layout. This is the default layout view, the card preview here at the top. And you can also select the compact view, which is the one which we have currently implemented into this demo pipeline. Now, whatever floats your boat, you just select that one. Okay. Then here you can select or deselect any of those values that you would like to show on the particular opportunity card. Okay. Now let's deselect all of those. And here under fields, you can just add anything that you would like to add to the card. At the top, you can see the data has been removed because here I have removed all of these data points. Now, if you want to go back and you check my contacts, for example, you scroll back up and you can see the contact showing up up here, right? Now let's say we want to showcase the opportunity value. In this case here on the left, you can see your $3,000, right? If you scroll back up to the top, it's not there right now. Let's scroll back down, select opportunity value, scroll back up and you can see it's $50,000, right? So you always have an idea of, hey, this is a really high value lead. And then the urgency just increases for you to take next actions. And then like this, you just keep going, check mark anything that you would like to see on the opportunity card and then we'll show up like that. Again, this is the default view. If you like the compact view better, you can just click compact view. Okay. Now next up is the quick actions, which is like these little icons here where you can see the little blue numbers. Click on that. Hey, do I want to show the call action? Do I want to show the unread conversations, the tags, notes, tasks, or upcoming confirmed appointments? Right. So I think they're all quite important. I would just leave them as is. Once you're ready, just hit save. And then it will ask you, hey, do you want to create those changes inside of all your pipelines? Remember, you can have unlimited pipelines, right? So do you want to have all of these changes displayed in all of these cards or just simply that one pipeline? If you only want to update that one pipeline, you just uncheck this and hit confirm. If you want this to be updated in all of the pipelines, just check mark this and then hit confirm. Please note, these customizations are based on a user level and that will only apply to the user who creates these changes. So let's say you have different people working with you in the, within the platform. These users will not be able to see this customization that you've just created under manage fields. Okay. This is just personally for you as the user, if you've set it up like this, if Claudia from your team, for example, prefers the default view and she has set her pipelines to default view, then that will show up on her account like that. All right. So that's the default view. Also, when you export all your opportunities, you can click the three dots on the right and then click export, right? So it exports all the data from that particular opportunity and not just the ones which you've displayed in the pipelines card here, right? So it will always export all the data. Also, please note, you can choose up to seven fields to be displayed in the opportunity card. So if you go back to manage fields, you can see here, we have already five selected. Let's select a few more six and that's it seven with the opportunity name so these are total seven and you can see we can't add any more if you want to add more then you have to remove one over here now let's select the compact view again let's hit enter confirm so here you can see the limited data if you hover over it will give you another pop-up with exactly the same data if you click on the actual card then it just opens up and will give you much more information right here okay 
And that's it already. This is how you can customize your opportunity views in the board view. I hope you like this new feature and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.